If you believe for a second that he didn't cue up his own picture on the video screen, you're not uh, paying attention. That's fake news. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, we, we're kicking off here on the second day on the talk show, and we promised that we would have we, – we teased Fernando Alonso, Jordan Taylor, and Rodney Sandstorm. We promised you two of the three. A lot of speculation that Jordan Taylor and Rodney Sandstorm have never been seen in the same place at the same time. A lot of people thought it was this, it, it was Jordan playing Rodney. Uh, we couldn't get Fernando here, but Rodney Sandstorm has joined us. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, this is a huge moment for me. Uh, I've been ever since I heard Flavio Briatore say the only guy who can compete with Michael Schumacher is Fernando Alonso. I'm like, what is he talking about? Well, someone knew something, and uh, so. Uh, bit of a fanboy moment here so i'm going to try to get a little more professional um thanks for joining us first off and 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 being such a great sport um talk a little bit about uh about why in the world would you do that i guess the first question that comes to mind <laughs> which is, part what yeah. would <laughs> what would ron dennis say if he saw you in this getup uh well probably we'll <laughs> say say anything probably you know <laughs> just um but Look, you know. Oh, look and, uh, like that? The look. Yeah. No, much worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely much worse. This is the normal face, so much worse than that. But, uh, yeah, I think um, that was uh, something from the past, and uh, I think Ron now will be, will be happy. So, so when you – uh, the great thing for everybody, when we, we saw you come here last year was, you know, I think you got the grips with the IMSA is they're so passionate about sports car racing, but also about world motorsport. And when you came here, uh, uh, Formula One is such a it's is such an intense environment. When you came here, the fans were so excited to see you, but it also looked like you were really excited to be a part of this world too, because it's a different type of racing and a different environment. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, all the fans they are close to the cars, to the teams, the drivers, and uh, I think you em embrace that, you know, as well. And uh, that uh, atmosphere, I like to be more open, I like to be more relaxed. Sometimes even too much, you are yeah. really, really to uh, jump in the car and you're still signing autographs and things like that on the pill day. Maybe that's too much, but uh, the rest uh, I really enjoyed. And uh, yeah, hopefully this year we enjoy even uh, at the end of the race on the podium. And of course, you, I'm sure coming in, you had no idea of, no, I'm obviously Jordan, an amazingly fast driver, but the other side of it, the, the enjoyment for the spirit of life that he brings. Uh, tell us about this partnership. Well, I knew more this side of Jordan <laughs> than, the, yeah. than the performance yeah. side. Uh, obviously, I, I raced here last year, and uh, I know his um, uh, his performance and uh, you know his uh, victories here in 2017 and uh, all other stuff. But uh, yeah, this year we we shared the team, we shared the car, and uh, you know we I've been able to to learn things from uh, my new teammates. Uh, they have a lot of experience with this car. And uh, it's always nice to have different approach of racing, different mentalities, mm -hmm. and uh, try to combine everything into a team. Yeah. What about you, Jordan? How's it? I mean, do you sometimes remind yourself in a pit stop? Oh my goodness, this is Fernando Alonso getting out the car. Yeah. It's hard to picture with him wearing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest part. But yeah, I think you kind of get into a rhythm of just being teammates that you do forget about it, where you're yeah. going over data, doing driver changes, and it's your teammate. First, but then secondly, it is Fernando Alonso. So, I think once we're in like race mode, you don't think about it at all. But when you go away from the track and you see all the people around him, you kind of get that understanding back again. But he's been great to work with. Obviously, the same kind of things he was saying is when you have a new guy, obviously someone with his history and experience. Oh, oh look, that's the oh move. Yeah. yeah, that was a very special video, Fernando. That was. Uh, Camui was not really into the. He missed the, the timing. <laughs> yes, his timing was not very good. I hey, miss those, those shoes. Huh? I have them if you want. <laughs> it's only like twelve dollars for a pair. I can get you one. <laughs> they were not my size. Hey, you lucky man. And uh, have you had to buy a new dog, just to keep up with him? Not yet. No, not no. Yet. That, that dog is uh, unique. Well, it's also because he can't get a date. So, yeah. so the dog is kind of the other side of Guessing it. Guessing that's not the case. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The, 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 do not the dog the gets the date. Ah, the me. dog yeah. gets the date. Uh, so obviously, we, look, big race ahead, and the, the number 10, Konica Minolta, uh, Cadillac, is, we know that you can pull things out of the bag, guys. I mean, you've seen this team. If you've, you've followed their progress, I'm sure you know that they might be qualifying 
doesn't necessarily always tell the tale, but you're always somewhere in there. Your, your dad, Wayne, really, and the strategists come up with a good plan. I imagine this race now is just flat out. Yeah, I mean, our team has a good understanding of how to run this race. You know, we've finished on the podium here five of the last six years. Um, not a lot of teams can say that. So I think we, we know how to approach the weekend. We know that we don't have the fastest car, especially after the roar, we knew that. And then after qualifying, it was pretty obvious that we don't. Um, I think we're fifth to sixth place on speed. Um, but I think for us, we know that's out of our control. So for us, we have to run our own race. We can't chase them. We can't take that extra risk um, trying to get that little bit of lap time to keep up with them. Uh, we have to run our own race and see where we are 20 hours into the race. And hopefully they've had their little issues and we've had a clean race. Now, Fernando, um, obviously you, you got your Le Mans win last time. You're here for the, the Rolex and this win. Both 24-hour races, but couldn't be more different. That one is is much more of a speed contest, it seems. You don't bunch them up on the yellows. Um, yeah. What about this running this race last year um, stuck with you that was different than you imagined? It, was it the level of traffic? Was it – I mean, because you're – People say you got to be safe in traffic. You can't be safe in traffic or you just lose too much time. Um, what, what stood out as unique about the Rolex race last year? Well, I think the approach is different. As you said, I think Le Mans is, is just uh, more a sprint race. Uh, I any advantage that you may get, you, you can keep that even with a safety car or, or a full course yellow. While here, normally everything will bunch up, you know, eventually at, at one point in the race with the safety cars. And uh, you just need to, to keep uh, the car safe in good state until the last couple of hours. Um, yeah, and, and last year I didn't experience much the race because we had uh, problems early in the race and uh, we missed uh, most of the night, etc. But uh, yeah, uh, as Jordan said, with the team now, with uh, Wayne Taylor Racing, with the experience they have, you know, we've been uh, through the possible scenarios in the race and uh, we should be uh, ready. Last year they told me to win Rolex 24, you have to be an American team. Because if you come from Europe, the BOP will never help. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year, it didn't help either. So <laughs> um, I need to make sure, you know, if I come back. Uh, you got to be the right American. <laughs> 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 no, I think we, we will be okay. But yeah. uh, definitely, you know, we knew that we were not uh, uh, with the BOP okay after the roll. But uh, it was uh, a strange decision there and uh, to, kept to keep everything the same. And uh, yesterday in qualifying, we we realize again, hopefully they realize as well that uh, it's not totally fair. Yeah. Well, you, you actually miss, Tommy normally walks around in the, the same, your hat. I, 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 I was in the booth last to year. To protect. No, I, I have the, <laughs> I, yeah, 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 definitely the protect. <laughs> I have the, is it over here? <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the uh, they're given the, but last year on air, I was commenting on your hat and my producer brought me the, uh, the Alonzo Daytona last yeah. year for uh, United Autosport. So, all right. Um, yeah. So, so we'll give you one of ours because I know in the middle of the night, you, okay. you, you know, we, we did them for Tommy because he doesn't have a lot of yeah. protection. That's okay. Uh, but it's and and it's, it's an open it's more cockpit. aerodynamic. Open cockpit. It uh, uh, certainly it is. Have the roof. Well, listen. Good luck. Thank you so much for coming on. This is a it's a big moment. We actually have a mystery guest that we've been teasing. You're not allowed to guess who it is. Uh, but we're just about to roll this. We have the Michelin so mystery guest, and our online viewers are going to, to have a little check, and I think this should be quite a good picture coming up. Oh, it should be coming up in a second. We've been teasing it. Is it just a video or, like, live? Yeah. Flavio. Oh, Flavio. You think it's Flavio? Think yeah. it's Flavio. Well, yeah. I don't know if they can pull it up quickly. The picture yesterday <laughs> you might think was Flavio, too. Oh, that's there, funny. there have been pretty girls. There was five bikini uh, Hawaiian tropic it girls. Flavio? Yesterday. No, you don't know. You're going to have to find out tomorrow, everyone. But you can go oh, really? online and put is, your guests out. Is he coming along? Or yeah. The, the whole group is coming. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Are they? You'll be just coming? coming? The whole group. They're, coming. They're coming to Daytona? The mystery? The, the mystery. Oh, yeah. The mystery trio. I don't know. The, the, the man well, one the out of the three might. I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. There's wow. yesterday's picture. Is that Flavio, do you think? <laughs> I don't know. That's Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> That's Wayne. It's too, it's too tall. <laughs> it's too tall for Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I do but have one question for you. I was told to ask if you could do the Mobius for us. The Mobius? I don't even know what the Mobius is. The Mobius? No. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think it was early 90s. Oh, a dance move? Oh, my goodness. A dance move? <laughs> uh, no. You know what? I, that's, that, that's a crazy <laughs> throwback. Yeah. That was before my accident. I don't. I you physically don't think really? I could do the movie. No. What was it? <laughs> should try. It was this. <laughs> I can support you. <laughs> it, was, it was this. Can, I think you should. Could you just stand up and try? It was kind of this, this sort of 
primate. I literally, I literally. But that's what you walk like all the time now. <laughs> now I will. I will say the best impersonation of me. Uh, you know the show, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. Carlton, yeah. who oh, yeah, does the yeah. Carlton dance. Yeah. So very smooth. Uh, Alfonso impersonates my limp. <laughs> like nobody else. So I, I, I don't have to impersonate, That's so impersonate funny. my limp. I just have my limp. But uh, before we go, could, could you? Could you <laughs> I can't tell you where I got that information. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. that That's is funny. That is, uh, we so need the ago. lesson, Jordan. I think it would be good if we could end the show with, with you leading a little chorus line of us doing the, the famous. The Rodney. The Rodney. Games? But we have to ask or Rodney for Rodney, shows. Rodney, Rodney, can, Rodney show can lead us. We need everybody to, to try this. Okay, so how do we do this, Fernando? Can you do the soundtrack? Oh, 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 it comes I think it'll be naturally. copyright issues. Do you, do you like this? Tommy, can you do that, or do we need th physio? No. Oh, I like it. The knee. The knee. The knee. Is the that knee. what you do? Is Keep the hips oh. solid. Hips so you solid. don't bend. What you do you think, guys? You Are we doing it well? Okay, so don't forget tomorrow, the talk show live. We will be here from the paddock. Follow along on hashtag talk show live at Motor Trends Facebook and YouTube channels. Thank you for watching, Fernando. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great time this weekend. Thank you. Jordan Taylor, thank you. Thank you, Justin. you are a rock star. That is brilliant. And don't forget, right now we have a little trailer, Christian Fittipaldi documentary released last night, Christian's final race of his career here this weekend. Thanks for joining us, everybody.